In this video, you will learn how to solve this nice mathematics Olympiad exam question. We are asked to solve for x in this expression. Now, to solve this question, I want us to remember this key point that from this question, 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4, right? And we can also have 2 to the power of 3 to be equal to 8. So that means we can simply substitute those values of 2 for 4 and 8 respectively. Then we'll have our 2 to the power of x plus we'll have this to become 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by x and this will be equal to 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by the power of x. So that law of indices, if we have our a to the power of x all to the power of y, this can be equal to a to the power of y multiplied by the power of x. So if we apply that to that expression, that expression will give us 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x all multiplied by the power of 2, right? Inverted uh, exponent. And this will give us 2 to the power of x all multiplied by what? by 3. So what do we have from this expression? You're going to see that we are going to let our uh, y to be equal to or 2 to the power of x to be equal to y. Now if we do that, what will we arrive at? We're going to arrive at y plus y squared and this will be equal to y to the power of what? Of 3. Good. So Let's uh, arrange, rearrange this expression. If we rearrange this expression, we're going to take all to the right hand side. So that will give us y to the power of 3 minus y to the power of 2 minus y, and this will be equal to 0. So what do we do from here? Now you're going to see that y is common, right? So let's bring out one value of y, and we'll have left y squared minus y. And this will become 1, and this will be equal to what? 0. Great. Now, we have two uh, expressions. The first expression, we'll see that the first case, uh, y, is equal to 0. And that becomes one of the solution. The other one, we'll have uh, y squared minus y minus y, 1, to be equal to 0. And that becomes a quadratic equation. So in our second case, we are going to see how to solve that quadratic equation in order to get the other two values of y. Now to solve this other two values, solve for the other two values of y, we are going to use the quadratic formula. From the quadratic formula, our value for y will be equal to a negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac and this will be divided by 2 multiplied by a. Now from that expression given to us, our values of a is equal to 1, the value of b is equal to negative 1 and the value of c is equal to negative 1. So Let's substitute all this into that expression. Now, if we substitute that into that expression, we're going to have our y to be equal to negative multiplied by negative 1, right? Because b is negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 all squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by negative 1 and all of these will be divided by 2 multiplied by 1. So what do we have here? We're going to have the value of y will be equal to negative multiplied by negative will give us 1 plus or minus the square root of minus 1 square is going to give us 1. Negative times negative is going to give us a positive. Then 4 times 1 times 1 is going to give us 4. And this will be divided by 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. 
Great. Now let's simplify this further. We have our y to be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of what? 5. And this can be divided by what? 2. So if we simplify this, we are going to have our y to be equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Or we'll have the expression to be 1 minus root 5 divided by 2. Now come to note something. From our initial expression, we said the value of 2 to the power of x is equal to y. So if y gives us these two solutions, so our 2 to the power of x, we said, is equal to y. So the value of y here will be equal to 2 to the power of x equal to 1 plus root 5 and this will be divided by 2 or we'll have a value of 2 to the power of x to be equal to 1 minus root 5 and this will be divided by what by 2 so from these two expressions we can get the values of x now what do we do here from the right hand side you'll come to see that the value of root 5 can be equal to 2.2 or 2.3 and 1 minus 2.2 is going to give us a negative. So no matter the value of x we insert on the left hand side of this equation, you are going to see that the left hand side will continue to be positive while the right hand side will definitely be what be negative. And negative Positive can never be negative mathematically. As a result of that, we are going to neglect this expression. Now we're going to concentrate on this other expression. And to solve this, we are going to see how we take the log of both sides or the natural log of both sides. Now let's take the natural log of both sides. We'll have the natural log of 2 to the power of x equal to the natural log of 1 plus root 5 and this will be divided by 2. So let's solve this for the value of x. To solve this, we are going to have the value of x uh, to be equal to our x multiplied by in of 2, and this will be equal to the in of 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. So what do we have here? We're going to have this expression if we divide both sides by the in of 2, we're going to find the value of x. The in of 2, while this clears this, the value of x will be equal to the in of 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. And all of these will be divided by the natural log of what? Of 2. So this expression will now give us the value of x. Now recall that in logarithm, if we have the natural log of a divided by b, this can be given as the natural log of a minus the natural log of what? Of b. So what do we have here? If we apply that to that expression, the value of our x will now be equal to the natural log of 1 plus root 5 minus the natural log of 2 and this will be divided by the natural log of what 2. Now if we solve this equation we expression we are going to find the value of x. Now the task I want to give you now is to check the value of this uh, natural logarithm, simplify them, and let us know what the value of x in due terms will be. If you do that, drop your answers in the comment section, and I will be so glad to uh, engage with you from there. Don't forget to share this video with friends and colleagues. Subscribe to our channel for more simplified mathematics solutions, and also remember to also give this video a like.
Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.